गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट क्लास वी कंप्लीटेड टाइप्स ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स बेस्ड अपॉन साइड्स टुडे विल डिस्कस बेस्ड अपॉन एंगल्स ट्राइंगल्स आर थ्री टाइप्स triangles are three types on that first one acute angle triangle first one acute angle triangle second one right angled triangle third one obtuse angle triangle obtuse angle triangle okay already we know what is the triangle what is the what is an angle but what are acute right and obtuse what are the types then acute angle is nothing but the acute angle is nothing but actually the angle value in circle the angle value in circle total 360 degrees total 360 degrees we have to separate four parts then zero 90 180 270 here again will come 30 360 degrees then if you separate a circle in four parts 90 80 270 270 and 360 will get then acute angle means the acute angle is nothing but the value of acute angle less more than 0 less than 90 means between 0 and 90 is which value is having that value is called acute angle which angle is which angle is having between 90 and 0 that angle is called acute angle for example 89 is a acute angle 1 is a acute angle 2 is a acute angle 10 is a acute angle this total acute angle this one acute angle okay then exactly 90 degrees exactly 90 degrees means already said l shape exactly 90 degrees means this one is a right angle right angle already before previous classes we discussed then exactly 90 degrees means right angle okay more than 90 less than 180 more than 90 less than 180 is called obtuse angle is called obtuse angle okay now we are taking up to 180 only why because in any triangle in any triangle the value the sum of three angles is equal to 180 only that's why we are taking up to obtuse angle up to up to the angle value okay acute right and obtuse these are the types of angles then same we have to apply here also then first one is acute angle triangle and second one is right angle triangle third one is obtuse angle triangle acute angle triangle means the maximum the value between the maximum value below 90 degrees means in triangle means three angles we have three angles we have then each angle value below 90 in acute angle we'll discuss one by one now first one is acute angle triangle acute angle triangle before going this one property is there the sum of angles in triangle the sum of angles in triangle is 180 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए बी सी नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एंग इज देन एंगल ए प्लस एंगल बी प्लस एंगल सी इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्रीज देन वॉट आर द ए वैल्यू बी वैल्यू सी वैल्यू वी डोंट नो देन वी हैव टू टेक डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वैल्यूज बट इफ यू द सम ऑफ थ्री नंबर्स विल गेट वन एटी डिग्रीज द सम ऑफ डिग्रीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए इज मोर देन बी एंड सी बी इज वेरी लेस देन ए एंड सी सी इज इक्वल टू बी एंड ए वॉट एवर इट इज देन द थ्री एंगल्स इफ यू एड विल गेट वन एटी दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ट्राइंगल ओके बेस्ड अपॉन दिस नाउ विल डिस्कस फर्स्ट वन अक्यूट एंगल ट्राइंगल अक्यूट एंगल ट्राइंगल मीन्स इन अक्यूट एंगल ट्राइंगल ईच एंगल each and every angle less than 90 degrees less than 90 degrees for example angle a is equal to 60 degrees angle b is equal to 70 degrees and angle c is equal to 50 degrees angle c is equal to 50 degrees 60 70 50 then if you add three values 60 plus 70 130 130 plus 50 180 okay the two the three angles less than 90 degrees the three angles less than 90 degrees that's why this uh, this measurements is represent this is uh, this measurements is represent the acute angle triangle acute angle triangle means the each and every measurement between with each and every every measurement below 90 degrees and above 0 degree and above 0 degree and below 90 degrees okay here three measurements if you have to take a is 60 b is 70 and c is 50 not only like that have to take all are equal also a is 60 b also 60 and angle c also 60 if all angles are equal then all sides also will be equal if all angles are equal then all sides also will be equal okay then this acute angle triangle is also called as equilateral triangle why because equilateral triangle means see here all angles are equal all angles are equal then sides also equal all sides are equal means we can say what is that in last class all sides are equal means equilateral triangle okay but not each and every acute angle is not equilateral triangle only if 60 60 60 measurements is there means that is a equilateral triangle and acute angle triangle also this is about acute angle triangle i repeat once again the acute angle triangle is nothing but in the three three angles of triangle is below 90 degrees then the type of triangle is called acute angle triangle next one what is the right angle triangle right angle triangle right angle triangle means actually right angle triangle right angle value is 90 degrees right angle value is 90 degrees then this is the right angle triangle in right angle triangle compulsory one of the angle will be 90 degrees in right angle triangle compulsory one of the angle will be 90 degrees then remaining two angles is we can take different different values actually the sum of three angles the sum of three angles in triangle is 180 out of 180 90 is here b angle then remaining the sum of two angles is 90 then we can take a 50 c 40 otherwise a 45 c 45 otherwise a is 20 c 70 whatever it is have to different different values you can take but one of the angle compulsory should be 90 degrees compulsory should be 90 degrees then it is called right angle triangle right angle triangle in right angle triangle then we can take 
angle A is equal to 30 degrees, angle B is equal to 90 degrees, angle C is equal to 60 degrees. Which type of triangle this is? It is a right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. Why? Because in actually A value, C value is acute angle. A value and C value is acute angle. But in B value is 90 degrees. In any triangle, one value is 90. The triangle is called right angle triangle. Then 190 degrees is over. Then remaining the sum of two angles. The sum of two angles will be should what is that? 90 degrees will be then 30 and 60. And one more triangle is there. Angle A is equal to 45 degrees. Angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Angle C is equal to 45 degrees. See here, two angles are equal. Two angles are equal means, I will draw a diagram. This is 90 degrees. This is B. This is A. A how much? 45 degrees. See how much? 45 degrees. Means, this 45 degrees means two sides. Two angles are equal means compulsory two sides are equal. Two angles are equal means compulsory two sides are equal. Actually, according to based upon sides, based upon uh, sides are equal that based upon sides types of triangles, then two sides are equal means which type of triangle? This is a isosceles triangle and one more angle is 90 degrees. Then finally this is a isosceles right angle triangle. Isosceles right angle triangle. Okay. Based upon angle, this is a right angle triangle. Based upon sides, it is a isosceles triangle. That's why this is the isosceles right angle triangle. Okay. Next one, last one is obtuse angle triangle. Obtuse angle triangle. Obtuse angle triangle means compulsory in triangle one angle will be obtuse angle. Obtuse angle is nothing but more than 90 degrees. More than 90 degrees. For example, angle A is equal to 30 degrees. Angle A is equal to 30 degrees. Angle B is equal to 120 degrees. Angle C also 30 degrees. Otherwise, we can take twenty forty. We can take twenty forty. See. A, B, C. A is 20 degrees. This is 120 degrees. This is 40 degrees. Okay. Then the sum of three angles is equal to 180 degrees. The sum of three angles is equal to 180 degrees. In the triangle, the remaining two angles will be compulsory should be acute angle. One angle will be obtuse angle. Why? Because one angle means uh, out of 180 degrees, 120 degrees means more than 90 is one angle. Remaining two angles compulsory should be then acute angles. The two, in that out of three angles, the sum of two angles is, if you can take some value also, will be less than the 
another angle why because this is the obtuse angle triangle okay in acute angle triangle will be all are equal in right angle triangle compulsory will be one uh, 90 degrees in obtuse angle will be one obtuse angle remaining will be acute angles okay next class we'll say we'll continue this topic types of triangles based upon angles and sides next class will continue thank you students